what's going on everybody. Today's dev vlog might be a little short, but it's pretty exciting. I'll be showing you the locomotion overhaul I've been working on, as well as the beginnings for the UI system, which makes building much quicker and fluid. First off, you'll notice you can now grab any of your surroundings to pull or push yourself to gain momentum in zero gravity. If you've ever played Echo Arena, you'll notice this is a pretty similar setup and I believe it's the best way to go about movement in space as it's what's most natural. I achieved this with the help of Nico Kuhn's template which I modified and integrated into my project. If you want more information about that, I'll post a link in the description. This also brings in a new level of immersion. Being able to interact more naturally with your environment really gives you a better sense of presence in your surroundings. It also allows the player a method of increasing or stopping their momentum at will, which is useful once you're interacting with the modules inside the colony. I can't remember if it was noticeable in the first two dev blogs, but the locomotion was a little clunky. It would stop abruptly when turning, and the synergy between the two hands wasn't perfect, which can lead to nausea. However, this has been fixed now for a much smoother experience. Collision is a thing now as well, so instead of passing through all the walls like a ghost, the player will actually bounce off hard surfaces when running into them. There's still a few things I need to fix, for instance, there's no limit to your velocity, so you can pretty much slingshot yourself into space if you pull fast enough, as well as pulling yourself through walls, which is a big no-no. There may be wormholes in space creatures, but we have to keep the realism on a decent level. On to the building system, I've got a pretty solid start. I went with a ring selection system you may have seen in various other games as it ended up being the quickest and the easiest to use which is useful when you're building a colony out of multiple various pieces. I still need to add the sound effects and visual feedback but the core of it is working pretty well. I also fixed an annoying thing about placing walls, due to the way I programmed the building, some walls would face the wrong way and you'd have to rotate it towards your player, but now the object you're placing will always align facing the side the player is on. Some people have been saying the game seems too dark, which in the video I agree. It actually appears brighter with less contrast in the headset though, but I'll try to boost the brightness in the video this time. That's all I have for now. If you have any ideas or suggestions, just comment below and let me know. See ya.